Hi, everybody. My name is Bob Trezise, and I'm president and CEO of Lansing Economic Area Partnership, LEAP, which handles economic development issues for greater Lansing, Michigan. That's Ingham, Eaton, and Clinton County. You're watching and listening to our five or so minute LEAP Weekly about all the economic development activity. As usual, please scroll down and catch all the clips you may have missed that summarizes all the economic development news of the week. Here we go. We had really good news uh, this week from the Lansing Regional Smart Zone. Uh, LEAP uh, is honored to have a management contract for the last four years with the uh, Regional Smart Zone Board of Directors. And this year, our Smart Zone performed extremely well. We were second in the state for new uh, creation of businesses at 31 businesses that LEAP helped create in conjunction with the Regional Smart Zone. We also were basically tied for second place in the state for writing uh, what are called Business Accelerator Fund, BAF uh, applications. This is important grant money, very difficult to get, complex to write, but difficult, um, important grants uh, for uh, new economy, start high-tech startup businesses um, related to the Regional Smart Zone. Zone. So we did very, very well, and we're very pleased with that. I want to take a moment, too, to congratulate our great friends and partners at Michigan State University, at the MSU Foundation, and Spartan Innovation. Um, they have created uh, the region's uh, excellent uh, accelerator program to help startup businesses in a short time frame go from idea to the marketplace. And LEAP announced our own, Lansing Proto, a couple of months ago. Now MSU has announced their program. Um, having two is fantastic. I wish we had five. The more, the better. So congratulations and thank you to our awesome friends and partners at Spartan Innovation, the MSU Foundation, and Michigan State University. The program is called Conquer. Our fashion incubator, the runway that LEAP runs on behalf of the Lansing Economic Development Corporation in the NAPS building uh, is going to start up its new speaker series. And we're pleased to announce our first speaker who will be on February 16th from 5.30 to 7 <clears throat> at the runway. You can go to runwaylansing.com to order your tickets now because it's big speakers. And these are Grand, Le Grand Ledge natives, twins, Claire and Shad Butencourt. They are founders of Shock and Awe. Uh, they are big winners of VH1 twinning show. They have, they have put together fashion designs for Katy Perry. That's uh, a great story. They went from, grew up in Grand Ledge. They went to LCC, to University of Michigan. They went to New York, have started their own Shock and Awe um, in, uh, fashion business. And, and now they're coming back to speak to us about how to start up your fashion business and give us tips and insight into their incredible journey and story. So again, on February 16th, 5.30 to 7, runwaylansing.com to get your tickets. I also like to mention uh, another great thing that came out this week, a piece of information from the University Research Corridor folks, uh, Executive Director Jeff Mason um, laid out the impact of the universities, the main research universities in the state of Michigan, and uh, specifically here in the mid-Michigan area, Greater Lansing, Michigan State University had a $3.3 billion impact last year alone to our local economy. Wayne State, U of M, and Michigan State together had a 17 point $5 billion impact on the state of Michigan economy. These are um, new businesses being spun off and commercialized, research, students, uh, businesses related to the universities, universities direct purchase through contracts and everything else you can imagine. Um, but what a massive, a global kind of impact both here on our local economy and the state of Michigan. Congratulations for this important report and research with, again, the University Research Corridor. Uh, and thanks very much. And finally today we have Brent Case, our Vice President of Business Attraction here at LEAP. And Brent has been doing a bang up job in bringing companies to this area from around the country and around the world. We have a very unique opportunity with a very innovative um, company called Local Motors. Uh, Brent, and on March 10th, LEAP is going to hold a day long event that's going to be open to many suppliers in the region to connect with Local Motors. Why don't you tell us all about that and how these 3D machines here at LEAP are going to play a role in that. So these 3D printers are a very small in comparison to what Local Motors uses. They've used 3D printing to create the first 3D printed vehicle. And so the opportunity is for area suppliers, students, faculty to get involved with Local Motors as they evolve. And they're actually going to create uh, their next facility in Detroit. And they're looking for suppliers and students to get engaged in design, engineering, advanced materials. They're coming into town March 10th. The general manager will be there, the CEO, the director of global purchasing, the 
HR director and others from Local Motors to get engaged with MSU even more than they have already and also talk with uh, Lansing's supplier base. So this is another example of WEAP's partnership with MSU through their excellent Spartan Innovation and MSU Foundation program at March 10th at the University Club. I hope anyone can sign up. Brent, if they want to sign up, how would they do that with you? Uh, people can register at purelancing.com or they can shoot me an email at brent at purelancing.com. Thanks so for all your great work, Brent, very much. We'll see everybody next week.